Welcome to an exciting journey into the world of predictive analytics in football. Today, we have a webinar that promises to bring a new dimension to our understanding of this beautiful game, football as we know it. It's not just a sport, it's a passion, a global phenomenon, and a source of endless excitement. But what if I told you that you can enhance your experience by unlocking the secrets of predicting goals with remarkable accuracy? In this video, we will explore the power of Poisson model, a statistical tool that has changed the way we approach football predictions, particularly when it comes to the under over betting markets. Whether you are a seasoned sports better, a follower of the game, or just someone curious about the intersection of mathematics in football, this video is tailored for you. Over the 15 minutes or so, we will dive into the details of the Poisson model and how it can be used to forecast the number of goals in football matches. I will guide you through the basics of the model, demonstrate its application to football matches, and share real-world examples of how it can help enthusiasts like you make better predictions. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding or how to use this model to predict the over and the outcomes in football games. And you'll be better equipped to turn your passion for football into a tool for winning bets. So if you are ready to elevate your football experience, gain a comp competitive edge in your betting endeavors and uncover the fascinating world of sports analytics. Stay with me as we embark on this journey through the Poisson models applications in predicting football goals. Let's kick off a new era of informed data-driven football excitement. So what is the Poisson distribution, the Poisson model? The Poisson distribution is a mathematical model that helps us understand and predict the number of rare events that occur within a fixed interval of time or space. It's named after the French mathematician who developed it in 19th century. Let's break down the Poisson distribution and its applications. So imagine you are waiting for a rare event to happen, like car accidents at a particular intersection, phone calls at the customer service center, or meteor strikes on a planet. The Poisson distribution helps us answer questions like how many car accidents can we expect at this intersection in a day? What's the average number of phone calls received at the customer service center in an hour? How often does the metro strike a planet in a given time period? Or we can also ask the following question. How many goals can we expect during a specific match? <clears throat> The Poisson distribution assumes that these events happen at, a, happen at a constant average rate and they are independent of each other. In simple terms, the events don't affect each other and they occur randomly. This is the way uh, statisticians and mathematicians view the football goals. Now, uh, what is probability mass function? Well, the Poisson distribution has a probability mass function which helps us to calculate the probability of observing a specific, specific number of events in the given interval. So this question would be, what is the probability of observing a specific number of goals in the given match, like two or three? The, the number of goals should be specific. Now, there is also a cumulative distribution function. Well, what is it and how it differs from the previous one? The cumulative distribution function is a mathematical function that provides the probability that a random variable following a Poisson distribution, like a football match or football goals, uh, is less than or equal to a specific value. It's a way to see how the probabilities accumulate as you move from zero events up to a particular number of events. So what are examples of the questions we can answer from this uh, distribution? Like, what is the probability that we'll have no more than three car accidents at the intersection today? 
what is the chance of receiving 10 or fewer phone calls in the next hour at the customer service center? Or what is the probability that a number of goals will be less than or equal to a specific value? By using the Poisson uh, distribution, we can find this cum cumulative probabilities for these kinds of questions, which helps us in decision making and risk assessment. It's a valuable tool for understanding the overall distribution of rare events uh, like football goals and determining uh, the likelihood of specific outcomes within that distribution. Now, let's have an example of Poisson distribution calculation. For this, we will jump to the Jupyter Notebook and we'll be using Python and Python libraries to calculate uh, Poisson distribution predictions and probabilities. So, first of all, a quick reminder. For a given distribution, a PMF function, which is probability mass function, calculates the probability of a particular value, like a probability of two goals or three goals or four goals, discrete uh, number, discrete value. And the CDF function, which is cum cumulative distribution function, calculates the probability of any value less than or equal of the given value. For example, uh, the probability of uh, a team scoring two or less goals per match. Now, let's go uh, to the first example and calculate probability uh, that equals to some value. So, for example, a team scores uh, three goals per home game on average. What is the probability that it will score five goals on a given match? So, it's discrete uh, function, we want to calculate probability of specific value, which is five goals. For this to calculate, we need uh, to get a SciPy uh, package. It's a statistical package which, which helps us to calculate this probability. We do this by importing this, and then we are calculating this uh, discrete uh, probability like this, where K is the number of successes or goals in our example we want to find probability for. And mu uh, is the average rate of success goals, meaning uh, in our example, the average number of goals is three, then therefore mu equals three, and k equals five because we want to calculate the probability of a team scoring five goals. To do so, we can run this and we have this 10% probability. Now, let's jump to the second example. What is the probability? Uh, uh, let's calculate the probability less than some value. So, say we have the same team which scores the same three goals per home game on average, but this time we want to calculate the probability that this team scores two or less goals in a given match. This way, we need to calculate cumulative uh, distribution function, and uh, we do this like uh, here and we can ex execute this cell, and we see that the probability of this event to happen is 42%. So, for a team that scores on average three goals per home game, uh, the probability of that team scoring two goals or less in a given match, in a given home match, is 42%. Now, Let's go to the next example and uh, uh, let's calculate the probability uh, which is greater than some value. So we have the same team which scores the same three goals per home game on average. But now, instead of uh, calculating the probability whether a team, uh, the probability of a team scoring two or less uh, goals, we want to calculate the probability of, a, of the same team scoring two or more goals. In, and we can do this by just uh, um, uh, writing one minus the previous probability because, well, uh, these two events uh, add up into one. So we can just uh, 
calculate the difference between one and the, the previous probability and um, obviously we have uh, 57 58 percent which is uh, in total with the previous probability equals to one now let's calculate the probability distribution and for the probability distribution we'll need the pmf function which is probability mass function so say we have the average uh, three goals and we want to calculate the probabilities for this team scoring zero one two and up to six goals we can do this by executing this cell and we see that the probability of this team scoring zero goals is close to five percent whereas the probability of scoring the the same team six goals is also around five percent and uh, the probabilities of scoring two and three goals is uh, 22 percent the highest percentage and if we want to uh, sum all these probabilities we could uh, just sum these probabilities and uh, this result and we will get the 96 97 almost 97 percent probability that a team will score up to six goals which is quite logical i think and if you want to uh, calculate the probability of a team scoring up to two goals, you'll get uh, 42% like this. And it's easy uh, to check just by adding this 22% plus 15% and plus uh, 4%, which will be 37, 42, around 42. Yeah. So let's jump to the next example uh, which is the probability distribution for a range say you want to calculate a probability of a range of values that doesn't start with zero like for example we want to calculate the probability of scoring more or equal to three goals but less or equal to six goals we can do this just by uh, subtracting probability for uh, first event and the probability of the second event and in our case it's 54 percent or we can do the same just by uh, writing all the numbers in between <clears throat> and we'll get basically the same uh, probability sum of probabilities now if you are not uh, like python guy or don't want to dive into Python, into programming, into data analytics, you can uh, use <clears throat> one of the online cal calculators. There are plenty of these calculators uh, in the web, in the internet, and you can just uh, get uh, like write, type Python uh, distribution uh, online calculator or, or Poisson, I'm sorry, Poisson distribution online cal 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 calculator or something like that. And you'll get uh, one of the calculators. You can use any of them. And here's one of the examples. It's probably the first uh, example uh, I got from uh, typing in the in the Google. <clears throat> so let's jump to the real example. There is this uh, match, upcoming match between Inter and Roma, and I've calculated that uh, Inter has a home average number number of uh, goals on average at home games, uh, which equals 2.8, and for Roma away go goals average is two. And we want to calculate probabilities for these uh, under over uh, numbers, which is uh, kind, quite, a, uh, quite a standard for a bookmaker's set. Uh, we can do this. Uh, first of all, we can do calculate probability. We can calculate probability for inter under. And we can do this just by going through all the uh, goals we want to calculate and return the Poisson cumulative distributions uh, and uh, specifying that we want to use inter-home average uh, for this calculation. 
and we are rounding to two numbers uh, and we have uh, these results we can do this uh, for calculating probability for inter over we can do like this and uh, the same respectively uh, way we can you we could calculate probabilities for roma under and for roma over and if we want to like visualize what we've just calculated we can visualize these roma over uh, probabilities we can do this using matplotlib like this and we see uh, the number of goals and respective uh, probabilities for uh, Roma. So I put all the probabilities of Inter and Roma over and under on your screen. It is much more convenient, I think. One important note, though, uh, these probabilities are not taking account, into account the strength of the teams, of opposing teams, Inter and Roma, uh, were scoring to. This is very important, but in general, this model is pretty reliable. So today we've covered the power of the Poisson model, a statistical tool that has changed the way we approach football predictions. We've learned how to use it for better understanding goals probabilities, and in particular in over-under markets. In summary, the Poisson distribution is a powerful tool for understanding and predicting rare and random events like football goals. By knowing the average rate of goals, we can use the Poisson distribution to estimate probabilities and make informed decisions in over-under markets. To continue this journey, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more football analytics content, tutorials and updates. Your support keeps our community growing and thriving. If you really enjoyed, enjoyed this video, you can also show your appreciation by buying me a virtual coffee on Buy Me. Uh, coffee.com which you can see on your screen uh, your support will help me to continue to provide you with the quality insights tutorials and resources for the world of football analytics thank you for being a part of this fantastic community i look forward to sharing uh, more exciting discoveries with you in the future until then keep your ex keep exploring the beautiful game through the lens of data and analytics cheers